meteorological spring doesn't actually start until March 1st, but we're getting kind of an early start here across North Texas. There's nothing on the radar right now, but we do have southerly winds here and that will keep us warming up. It will definitely help that process. As we go through the temperatures today, 67, 68 degrees for those highs and above normal. And we will be staying above normal for quite a while. Lows are closer to normal though, 41, 42 degrees across the area with that norm, of course, of, uh, excuse me, 41. And as we look at the drought conditions, we are in great shape. The El Nino pattern that we've had brought all the rain. That has helped us significantly. You really have to go farther out to really see any kind of drought problems. But down in the hill country here, yeah, they're having some issues still there. So hopefully before we get into spring, we can get some more rain down in that area. It's been improving, but they definitely need more help. So we'll see how that goes. Now we're in an El Nino pattern now that should continue at least through early spring. Most of the spring though, we should be neutral. So the forecast right now, as far as the climate prediction center, what they're thinking, probably gonna be kind of a normal spring in terms of rain amounts and temperatures. And then it looks like we will transition into a La Nina pattern into the summer. That means drier conditions. So we will take all the help we can get, all of that moisture we can grab now and in the spring. We will take it because summer does look like another dry one. So we'll keep you updated on all of that. Looking across the country, no rain here, but rain is plentiful over in California. More flooding issues in Southern California. They've really been struggling with that this season. So that unfortunately won't stop there. High pressure is pretty dominant across the midsection of the country. And low pressure, yes, off the coast, and that system will be moving uh, eastward, but really won't give us much. It'll give us a quick small cool down is really all I can call it. And then we will stay above normal, stay fairly warm, probably for the rest of the month. So let's get into this forecast here today. Breezy south winds, warm and overnight tonight, it's chilly, 41 degrees. Tomorrow and Wednesday, yes, we are flirting with 80 degrees. Should All of us should hit 80 or more on Wednesday with increasing southerly winds ahead of, yes, that front that will come in Thursday. We should still at least get to the mid 70s before it comes through. And that will switch the winds around. It will be a windy day. 45 overnight Thursday night. Friday's our coolest day. Well, at least after the 80s, right? We get a little bit cooler. Upper 60s though, really not very cool for February, and then we're right back in the upper 70s by the time we get to the weekend. No rain in the forecast for right now. It doesn't mean that we won't get more soon, but in the next seven days, really probably in the next 10 days. And as I mentioned, looks like we're going to stay fairly mild for the rest of the month, the rest of meteorological winter. And of course, our last freeze usually, at least per DFW, is right around mid-March. So. Yeah, I mean, we could see another freeze or two, but considering this pattern, I would not be surprised if uh, we stay fairly mild, at least, like I said, through the end of the month, and then it becomes less and less likely as we get through March. So we're starting spring early, enjoy the warmer weather for those that don't really like the cold very much. And I will continue to be monitoring this. Oh, the last thing I wanna talk about is that yesterday or the day before, I mentioned that there was some chatter about a possible severe weather event towards the end of the month. And it's looking like that has pretty much shifted northward and eastward towards the Midwest. So not really looking like a factor here. So stay tuned to South Metro Weather as we get through the rest of this month and look towards the beginning of meteorological spring.